to go over the map switching function I've added to the Evo 10 firmware um, with the latest update I've been working on. This allows you to change some switch settings using the factory cruise control buttons on the steering wheel and then using the tack as an indicator so you know what switch you're on and what position you're on on each respective switch. So just a quick overview here in the MoTeC firmware. Um, in the Mitsubishi Evo group, under driver, there's five switch groups, one, two, three, four, five. And those are the five switches that we can control, um, like I say, using the cruise control buttons. Under each one of them, they have a few settings. Uh, the first one is at limit. And this defines what happens when you've reached the maximum switch position that you'd define. So a further button press to increment the switch up. If you're on roll, it's going to roll it over back to the minimum. And if you're on hold, it will just hold that maximum position no matter how many times you press the button. Then we have the min and max uh, positions. So that's just the start and the end value, which like I say, influences the roll and also influences um, just how many positions you have to work with. Um, I recommend just using the minimum that you need um, and don't just, they can do up to 10 positions, but it gets a little hard to keep track of because like I say, we don't have a, a MoTeC dash with words and things on it to remind you um, what each position is. So the more of them you have to keep track of, uh, the harder it can get. The last setting is value storage, and this just defines what happens when the ECU powers down and then back up. If it's on volatile, it will return back to the minimum setting on startup, and if you set it to flashbacked, it will retain the last setting uh, when you powered the car down. So that's how it looks in the software side of things. On the car side of things, I'll show you how it works. So this is an MR, and uh, when we manipulate the TAC, it does throw a transmission code. Um, but as soon as you put the TAC back in normal operation, it um, the code seems to go away. The stick shift cars, this won't be a problem. So the first thing we do is we turn the cruise on. So we just press the cruise on, and you see the indicator light come on. And then we press and hold the cancel for two seconds. And it was hard to tell because the engine's idling, but the tack actually moved a tiny bit. And then if we come down here and look, the state switched from disabled to switch one. So now we're in control of switch one, RPM's a thousand. And now we just use the up and down, or we use the Excel resume and coast set to do up and down for the switch positions. So zero and then one, two, three, four, five. And as I continue to press it, it's not going up anymore because we're set on hold and you can see our switch one is now on position five. You can also see the transmission is not happy with me, um, but that's okay. It'll get over it. And I'm going to do the coast set or the down and you can see it changing back to zero. back up to five and then to move to the next switch you just hit the cancel button again now it moved to two you can see down here our driver's state is now switch two and we're in position zero on switch two and the process is the same one, two, three, four, five, and I've set these all to hold and a maximum of five just for the base map. Cancel again, three, four, and five, and back to one. And you can see switch one is still at its position we last left it in of four. And then to escape this system, you just press and hold the cancel again. And we're back to tack. You can turn the cruise off and this transmission should sort itself out there we go so it seems happy like i say the manual transmission cars will not have that problem so you can do it no matter what i don't honestly know i need to test it and see what the sst is going to do if you do the switching on the fly you know
know if it's driving down the road and you're switching position five, I don't really know yet what it's going to do. Um, so the MR folks, you might want to just do your map switching just sitting still um, or key on if it's possible. Um, but everybody else, you can do this on the fly, just driving down the road. And then once you have the switches set up how you want, say driver switch one, if you come here to the driver group, the main driver group, which has all these driver switch functions in them, you can then assign those switches to pretty much anything you want. Uh, and for example, I've already pre-assigned this to the boost aim switch. And you can see that our position four is, is there. Um, and so you can now use that switch position one on the Evo cruise control buttons and tack to control your boost up and down. But you could use it for lots of different things. Uh, rolling anti-lag, you can use it to switch tire sizes, um, nitrous, pretty much anything in this list you can use it for. Um, lots of different options. So that pretty much covers it. Um, thanks for watching and uh, let me know if you have any questions.